For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's as always got a Madden 25 preview video for you guys today. That's right. A lot of information dropped about Madden 25 around the same time that uh, all the information came out about College Football 25. But I have some updates on some of that information, um, as well as just a lot of new stuff that's confirmed, whether it's the release date, the actual title of the game. I know that was a big question because there was a previous Madden 25 already where they slightly changed the title. I'm going to go over all the stuff you guys get for the Deluxe Edition that was released, all that information in this video. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, like I said, one of the biggest things was what was the name of Madden 25 going to be because there already was a Madden 25 that I think celebrated the 25 year anniversary of the game. Uh, had Adrian Peterson on the cover. This was you know close to 10 years ago I think now. I, don't, I mean it was, it's an older game. So one of the concerns was how are you going to call it Madden 25 because when people go to research Madden 25 they're going to bring up an old game. You know what I mean? So it's like they have to change the name a little bit. They can't just call it Madden 25 again. And the change they made may look small but it actually might be deeper than that. The change of the name is EA Sports Madden NFL 25, which is similar to EA Sports College Football 25. Now, if you remove the word Madden, they would be almost identical as far as the as far as the name's concerned. Which, and I bring that up because there was a story a long time ago before John Madden even died that EA Sports, and I've told this story in previous videos, that EA Sports was trying to get away from paying John Madden. They wanted to just basically cut him out because there was a point where he, they were just using his name and he wasn't really a part of the process. This was probably around the same time that the game started to go to crap, by the way. Um, even though, you know, I'm, I'm obviously a big fan of Madden, but I'm just saying that the game got worse as John Madden got further and further away from the project. And the story was that they didn't want to pay him for his name anymore because they're, pay they're paying him a lot that just to use his name on the game. Uh, and there was a story that they eventually wanted to get away from his name and just call it EA Sports NFL Football 25, whatever, something of that nature. And now that uh, John Madden's dead and um, they're calling college football EA Sports College Football 25, it's not a stretch for me to think that eventually they're going to continue with that plan and cut the name Madden out. So don't be surprised if within a couple of years, especially if uh, college football with that title is, is successful, if they don't just drop Madden and call it EA Sports uh, Madden, or sorry, excuse me, EA Sports NFL 25, because that's what they want to do just so they don't have to pay whatever massive fee they're paying to the, to the Madden family. Uh, because it's not really integral. It's just something that a lot of people see and it and it's, uh, it make a connection with because the game title's been around so long. So I do think that at some point they're still going to try to transition away from the name Madden because EA is super cheap. They're already paying the NFL a ton of money for all the rights, license rights that they have to for that game. And I'm sure they'd love to cut out the John Madden family and the huge amount of money they have to pay them every year uh, for for what he um, has brought to the game. So like I said, keep an eye on that. One of the other bigger things that was released um, was the actual release date of the game, which every year is one of the biggest things that drops. That and the cover athlete are probably two of the biggest. Um, they, basically, this information all came out when you went on to uh, EA Sports College Football 25's website to pre-order it. They have an edition that has the called the MVP bundle, where you basically get um, both Madden and college football for a pretty good price. For me, because I have EA Play, it was like 135 bucks. But if you get the two editions alone, if you get the um, yeah, this is the deluxe edition of both. But if you get the two editions of this game alone, I think it was 90 to 100 dollars, depending on whether or not you had uh, EA Play. So getting two editions for 135 with EA Play. Is a pretty good, um, you know, it's a pretty good bundle option. Uh, but at the same time, you can imagine that. I mean, I'm, I'm just going off of the information here. If it's $99.99 for the college football edition, like I said, $90 with a per, you know a discount on EA Play, that means that that's going to be the same price for the deluxe edition of Madden. And the standard edition for EA College Football 25 is 70 obviously 62 once again with a 10 percent discount but it's going to be the same so if you want to get the new madden it's going to be 70 bucks or like i said you can get discount options with ea play and if you want to get the deluxe edition it's going to be 99.99 it's going to be 100 bucks um and you know i'm going to go over the, the, the actual features that you're going to get now as far as the standard edition you're pretty much just going to get the game but for the deluxe edition of madden it has all the information listed here 
because they have to tell you what you're getting. If they're going to take pre-order money, if they're going to take money from you, they have to tell you when you're going to get the game, which I'll go over in a minute, and they have to tell you what you're going to get with it. Now, the actual release date um, is was confirmed. It wasn't just, I mean, it was obviously it was on, their, on EA's website, but it was confirmed a couple days later that the game will come out on August 16th for PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, uh, or you can get it on August 12th if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition, which typical, you know, is typical. They typically have um, two or three day release, uh, early release if you order the Deluxe Edition. If you pay the extra money, you get the you get the game for a couple extra, a couple days early. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that I that I read there, it says PC, which I don't think that NCAA is coming out on PC. So if you're one of these people that wants to play, um, you know, wants to play football on a computer, you're probably still gonna have to play Madden. Now they also go over some of the um, other things that you get, and it's pretty standard, honestly. I mean, last year if you pre-ordered it the same way, you got 4,600 Madden points, which is something you really only use in Mutt. It's something that um, you use to buy packs, but that's enough. That's like a, a decent amount. You're basically getting back the pre-order bonus in Mutt points, like the $30 you're paying more to get the the um, deluxe version. All you're really getting out of that is three-day early access. And you're getting most of that back in Madden points if you like to play Mutt. You get a lot more Mutt stuff too. So if you're a Mutt player, it's always probably worth it because you get a really good start to your Mutt team. You get early access ultimate team challenges, which is typically like 10. And it just gives you a nice little boost in coins before the season starts. But it's not like a huge difference. Uh, you get an AKA player item, which I think is kind of new. I think they only started doing AKA last year, maybe the year before that, also known as player item. Uh, you get a cover athlete elite player item, which means whoever the cover athlete is, we don't know who that is yet because even here they have a just kind of like a dark silhouette of a helmet. They're not going to give that away until like a month or two before the game comes out. But you'll get whatever player that is, and I'm going to guess it's going to be Lamar Jackson. I'm just going to go out on a limb here. Um, you're also going to get a bundle exclusive elite player item. And a uh, choice of two strategy items is obviously very helpful. That's something that's kind of new. It's only been around a year or two. Um, you'll also get, uh, whether you do this on Xbox or uh, PlayStation, you're going to get Superstar Drip Gear, uh, Legendary XP Boost. Um, you know, so you're going to get some outfits. And uh, I guess you're going to I don't, I don't even know what the XP Boost is. But you're going to get some, some cool stuff there um, just for pre-ordering the Deluxe Edition, which is all pretty good stuff. But like I said, to me, the big ones are the the man points obviously some of these items to help your mutt team but they don't go very far because honestly you, you got you build your mutt team up so quick it's not like these these early items last very long anyway but uh you yeah the 4600 points is something that lasts and the three-day early access is probably the most important thing to me as a content creator but i don't know how serious that is for people that can't wait three days just to play um you know play their favorite game and the fact that you can get these things in a bundle kind of to me um you know i don't know if it's if, if this really guarantees it but if you can buy the two of these together that basically means to me that they're going to bring back import draft classes which was something that they always tried to use to sell copies of two different games anyway i can't imagine that um it's not going to be in the game that's that like i said that's not confirmed like all the other information i gave you but if they're selling the two games together you can all but guarantee that they're going to have that import draft class thing and it's going to be every time they put out a game because like i said that's really the goal they want to sell you two games so I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see me make more videos like this about Madden 25, about EA College Football 25, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you missed the College 25 videos, I'll have them popping up on screen now. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.